morning traders it's thursday 16th of september 2021 hope you're all well let's just have a little look at uh, the news today we had some australian news out in the early hours 2 30 a.m uk time employment change unemployment rate so a bit a uh, bit mixed there uh negative and a positive so some good news and bad news there uh no news no high priority news expected um actually no sorry 1 30 p.m usd core retail sales so we've got some usd news out as well but nothing on friday um so australian dollar is actually um one of the weakest currencies at the moment um what i would say is though that it still remains at daily support doesn't mean that that can't break okay but we've got this support level where we've had a couple of false breaks here look back in july so you know while it's what i would say while it's we have a daily close uh above this level then i remain bullish okay but and, and still we really start impulsing to the downside which i don't believe we are um you just have to remember where price is so not uh, not completely sold if you like on dollar um Aussie weakness at the moment we could see strength come in it's uh, it's in a nice position where this could reverse um but looking at the dollar dollar's been very bullish this morning well the dollar index i should say this is a chart of the dollar index now the dollar index um whether you guys know this or not i have mentioned it a few times but uh the dollar index is basically um a measure of the united states dollar relative to a basket of foreign currencies uh, those currencies are the euro the japanese yen um, the pound sterling gbp canadian dollar swedish krona and swiss franc but um, the euro is the biggest part of the dollar index okay so within those basket of currencies the euro makes up 57.6 percent i think it is 57.6 percent of the dollar index so whatever the euro does will you know affect the dollar index now interestingly enough earlier on um we had um, an ecb uh policy maker called ollie wren i think his name is r-e-h-n uh basically he said that rate hikes so interest rate hikes were not yet in sight but it will happen one day now the market has taken that as negative because um generally as a rule of thumb um interest rates going higher or the the talk of interest rates going higher is a positive in the market okay so when they when the you know policy makers um central banks talk about interest rates not going up or not going up yet then the market can take that as a negative and we've seen that this morning actually um because due to what uh due to what this guy said earlier the market has absolutely crashed through the 118 support zone support price area as you can see this has uh, been acting as support boom it, it's just gone and that's just based on what this uh, gentleman has said so just shows you news can affect and does and will affect um what happens but now we are coming into this little section of price here so will this hold up will we see a bounce here I'll just show you the bigger structure for euro as I see it. Okay, bigger structure. If I do that, that's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at this structure here. We've got a major support here and a bounce here. Look, guys, and what I am seeing here is it just, it just kind of, sh it's shouting at me saying inverse head and shoulder pattern. Um, so left shoulder head 
right shoulder. We know we don't know where this right shoulder will form. It, I thought it would have been at the 118. However, we are dropping further. So we are going to, to me, making a right shoulder somewhere. Now, the right shoulder can be anywhere above this head. So it could be here. It could be here. It could be here. But that is what I am looking at. Something like that to happen longer term. So um, I am in favor of... Um, euro dollar longs it's just a case of when if if and when this sets up so that is the pattern i am looking out for so this could happen anytime really it may even come down and test these lows here doesn't have to just because we found support here actually that looks quite nice doesn't it so it will be this will be very very interesting and it it will be a zone see these wicks here if price can come down into that zone that could be very very interesting so it's something to look out for as well now the the safest way to trade an inverse head and shoulder pattern is a break and retest of the neckline and this is the neckline here so we'd be looking for price to actually break that retest it and then look to go long from there if we get the right setup. Um, more aggressive traders, uh, they're not not too aggressive. Will look for the right shoulder, but you know you can play it very very safe. You don't need to start buying here, for instance. You can wait for a change of cycle, maybe on the hourly, okay, and then try and get involved. Start seeing higher highs, higher lows on the hourly or a smaller time frame. So let's see. We could double bottom here um we've got a trend line we could draw here look guys okay so if we start seeing price very aggressive traders might look to trade from down here on a smaller time frame that is fine as long as you know what you're doing otherwise you know we can look for a impulsive move start seeing that and then that and then look to go long up towards the neckline taking profits off or banking some money at the neckline uh, moving stops to break even seeing if it breaks through and then try and place a second trade at a break and retest at the neckline so that is my kind of view of euro dollar whether that happens remains to be seen but um, you know it, it uh, could lead to a couple of really really nice trades just a case of being patient and you know sometimes you jump into these trades and you've just got it wrong or it's the wrong timing and you just have to take that on the chin um i was in a euro dollar long and it broke through the 18 118 level and stopped me out you know that's just the way it is um my bias my view is still the same as uh, from what i'm reading from the chart so just a little case of patience now and uh, look for another trading opportunity if and when it comes but uh, guys, um, that's my little uh, view of Euro Dollar and uh, Aussie Dollar. So let's see what happens today. Nothing actually. I've, I've had a quick look through the charts uh, before the um, before the video, and I didn't actually see anything that met my rule. So nothing as yet. But uh, let's see what happens today. So guys, trade safe. Uh, keep that risk nice and low, and I'll catch you later.